Well guys, getting ready now. I'm going to head up to the south coast. Uh, I got a bit of work to do on the boats in Mary's Harbor and we got to go to Williams Harbor to do a bit of work. And here's Swag. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take along some of this uh, heavy salt droid cod and a few rounders. You know, I'm going to be eating good while I'm up there. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get out seal hunting. So, so stay tuned for that. And maybe I'll show you how we cook up uh, either the rounders or this uh, split cod. And the smell on that fish is unbelievable. Oh man, that was drying for a good four days. I had hung up, and plus it was just hanging here in the smokehouse for a while as well. But oh, unbelievable! Well, good morning, everyone. Here in uh, Port Old Simpson, and just we're right here now, waiting for the boys. We're going to go to Williams Harbor, clear the snow away from our pots and that out there. Uh, I tell you, it's mild. I think it was plus four this morning. So, you know, this time of year now, you you got to be careful where you're going. Oysters giving out slobby in places and you know, there's other places you got to avoid because of bad oysters or whatnot. But uh, we're going to do a bit of work and there was a polar bear out there a few days ago done quite a bit of damage. So uh, we'll have a little look at that too, I guess. There's a light tickle here. If we want to get fishing, we're going to have to get these pots shoveled out. I looked out, there was a seal here. Just to visit that uh, wheat pan right there. Oh, a bit of swell making too. Let's just see if he comes up here again. Just right to the edge of the just right there. Got my Ruger uh, 223. I'm not sure we'll see how much oysters here left here now. And the more this it breaks up, actually, the better because there'll be no big lot lying here, I guess. We'll be having those pots on the boat. Last I seen he come up way out in the tickle there. Yeah, a bit of a gap here, gotta jump across. Always oh, careful and run the edges. Huh. Now, what's left here, we'll let Mother Nature take care of it. You can see that oysters are breaking in this way, but I'm gonna show, uh, uh, there's always one bar hard to break here. Now, once he breaks, the rest of the harbor could break up kinda quick, but that one there kinda holds everything in place. But he's hard to break, but once you do, then you'll see this breaking in a lot quicker. You know, the swell works around a little more, you don't work all the different little pieces apart. There's like fracture lines, cracks on, in through here, everywhere. Yeah, you see where the old pole, that's where he slid down over the bank there, look. He started walking and he threw out over the bushes and broke in over there. All right, we're going in through now. He had some company here the other day. I think a polar bear, a polar bear came in and uh, he ate some cookies. He had some cookies. And what else did he eat? A Santa Claus. Huh? I think he ate the corner of his couch. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that boy. You're lucky you never done more damage than that. Yeah, you got to lucky, yeah. Really, because I'm lucky. This is an old trail here that goes around the iron barn, but this one has, hasn't been used in years. 
some view through there now, but it looks like a black bear or something walked through there, look. The boys are getting the goose blind ready. Well guys, I got a seal. <laughs> I come up lying and it was a bit of a lying shot so I never bothered to uh, get the camera out. It was a lovely shot. It could be. You want a bottle? Want a bottle? You had another one crying, dip it up. Now get a bottle of blood, this will be good times anyway. Tell the people where to see them. Yeah, we was out in Williams Harbor. Got a bit of work done. Got a seal coming along. Now we're going to finish off the day. Hopefully get a, a few smelts, maybe a trout or two. Well, start it. Using a little bit of seal heart here for bait. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Get the scatter one, Randall. Ah, Boyce almost got his first one. Sure, I've got a few there. And rock out or something. Rock out here, isn't it? I know it's one thing. The smelts are dark here. Oh, a lot darker than the ones you see in Lake Melville. Let me dark on the back. Look at that. Where's the Anyway, this is gonna be the supper for tomorrow, or the boat. Seal meat for dinner and smelts for supper. Dane's fine trout here now. Oh, there, there's not. I don't want to buy the snow. Did he go around? Oh, Get a nice big smell too. <laughs> Got a little bit of vegetable oil in the pan there. Got some salt pork ready. And just a look at the, the seal. Now, this was in the East Island night. This Hinder Dabbler. Just look at a beautiful color of that seal meat right there. I'm going to eat some of these ribs. And just look at that. Boyce and Randall, they're down in the inch room doing some work. I'm going to put on a feed the seal for our dinner. I want to get that cooked a little bit early because later on this evening, I'm going off with a, for a seal hunt with uh, the Cat Slayer. So that would be a whole new video. But right now, i got to get this, uh, get this on kind of quick, get it cooked, get it eat, and get hunting again. So I guess that's it for this one, though, guys. I really appreciate you all watching. Take care. All the best from the big land. Look. I tell you, the little fella sure released the seal ribs. I think I hit the pan here. You might be able to hear that sizzling. I always put the bony pieces in first. Yes, look at that. Now, that's the, the hunter dabber. I pin it up and then I'm going in there. Now, I'm going to try to get this down to the bottom of the pan. Like that. Now that is truly music to my ears. Now yeah, some salt. And I, I gotta get some pepper. I can't find the pepper. I gotta look around for it. 